What's up guys? This is the Roachman I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to round off what happened last time, we've been declared on by Russia, which has made things very interesting. What I am going to do is take this garrison from Königsberg and quickly send them up to clear out these uh these dogs that are raiding our territory. Uh, chiefly because it's something I want to quickly get out of the way. But what I do want to do is hold in Vilnius while my defences are built. And then I would like to push out either against Poland or preferably against Russia. So I wonder if Poland for peace. Now they won't go for peace, that's a shame. The Prussians are expanding and they're we've allied with them, so our southern well, our borders of Königsberg are protected. We could push towards Minsk, but then that would expand my front line against Russia. But Russia, I think, is allies with Poland anyway, so if they wanted to, they could transverse Polish terrain as it is. But I think the main effort will be to keep expanding my forces here at Vilnius, keep reinforcing from London where possible, but also expand my holdings in the Caribbean. Not the Caribbean, in the Americas. So I doubt this force can leave Upper Canada. It can. We are squaring off against the French priests, so I don't think there's too much... There's not much point trying to square off against them when we can hop over the river and begin converting Quebec. Which will certainly help. So this force is going to hold here, short of the, just short of the river, where it will we will then cross and hit Cayuga and Niagara at the same time. Hopefully, in a similar sort of manner to this force, marching south and hitting Savannah, but there is a bit of a danger there because then we don't know what's lurking down here. In terms of tech, we're about to get measuring tools, which gets us uh, metal roads, which is great. We've got a fire by rank, which is excellent, so that's probably a reason why I want to push and try and knock out the Native American territories fairly quickly. And also try and get the 13 colonies to join our faction. The, uh, the Maratha Confederacy continue to grow in strength against the Mughal Empire. So there's a chance I might end up having to invade them at some point. But in general, things are going pretty well. We have no ships coming through. One thing I do need to do, though, is get onto my policies and go to America and knock down my taxes and middle classes, and maybe even uh, do the same in Europe to try and promote uh, financial growth and population growth. Now, that has hurt our income, it's only 5,000 next turn, but it will help. And the great, a good advantage of an example of it helping will be to grow memo the dockyard to facilitate my troop transport um, but all I can do now is hit end turn so I want my army I want my armies in the Americas to be positioned ready to push against the against the native factions because they are both allies I will declare on the Iroquois first because they are my big enemy and they're the one I can take the most advantage of first. But I do not want... I don't... Ideally, I'll attack the Iroquois and the Cherokee will join them. If the Cherokee don't join them, the army in the south will hold. They will wait until we knock out the, the Iroquois faction completely. Then we will declare on the Cherokee. And then we will own quite a sizable chunk of the... Of the continental United States. Barbary states are going to Barbary. One of our docks has a... one of our ports in the Caribbean has a reasonable fleet in it which means that they will... the pirates are less likely to interfere. Portugal... Portugal broke alli our alliance with us. Portugal, you can't be trusted. Okay, went, oh, you broke it! You, you broke my alliance to become a protector of Dagestan. Very well. Um, so 
we built another level, a next level port in, or next level barracks in Vilnius, which gives us access to a greater variety of troops. Could get an ordnance factory, but it's not critical yet to get. Demi cannons will still, or 12 pounders as it is, will still serve us fine. I'm going to pick up one of these iron workshops. To be honest, there's an argument that says these troops don't even need to be in Vilnius because the, our borders are protected by the Ottomans. And that is true. Uh, so, if you've got a church school in Lithuania, I'm okay with that. They've both built drill schools. So we've got a good... To be honest, we might not even need to do much... Well, Konigsberg can serve as a good troop recruitment centre for the Eastern Front, so I might get... No, I'm not going to get any grenadiers because our money goes down too quickly. Let's go back to the Americas. Let's upgrade this farmland here. Let's upgrade. It's a low yield mine. A port might be a good idea. Got a lot of things we need to build. But to be honest, I'm probably just going to declare. Well, hold on. Well, well. Hold up. Get to the border. That's a bit squiffy for an army that size. You may call up some reinforcements. In which case then this army will likely be defensive against the Cherokee while these armies are on the offensive. Take these two territories, um, take the territory here in Michigan then drive south on the western side of this mountain ridge here. I think it's still a good deal. I think it's still a good plan. So let's go to the Iroquois. There you are. See, they're allies with the Dutch. That's a bit of a fly in the ointment. We're allied with them too. So let's see who they choose as their, as their ally. Or if I don't call my ally... Well, if I don't call my allies in the 13 colonies, don't join me. But I suppose I don't really want them called in either. Because I don't want them interfering in a war in the Americas. Let's do that. The Iroquois have not been joined by their allies against me. And because I didn't call them in, they're still my ally. I am at war with Genoa, which is a bit frustrating. So these men put Cayuga under siege. Just put it under siege for now. And you put it under siege there. So the Cherokee nations, we are at war with them. They are depleted, actually. Yes. We do have fire by rank, but they've got lots of Native American warriors. We don't have any pikemen. I might put them under siege just to see what they've got. But a good target will probably be to attack Cayuga with this force here. There's lots of bowmen, some armed tribesmen. They've got a couple of good units, but not enough. We don't have much artillery. We've got a good block of cavalry and pikemen. So let's go and try and conquer this native territory and bring it into the British Empire. We will need to probably build another church school somewhere to spawn another priest. Because right now we've got the one that's currently booked up converting Quebec for the next eight, ten turns. Deploy the guns, deploy my infantry either either flank either side of the guns let's combine our troops including the glorious 33rd combine my cavalry so it's because they do have i might bring my general involved general into the mix here as well they may decide to charge us Native American lances. Send the cavalry out. So I want my regiment of horse to engage those lances. My provincial cavalry is probably not sturdy enough. It's fine against bowmen. Although I might actually get them around the flank to hit the native lances. You stop firing. 
Let's also charge them in with my Provincial Cavalry, just to see if we can break them quickly. Let's switch the cannons to Sharp. The bows are starting to reveal themselves. Come on, Regiment of Horse. Beat the Lancers. Put these men around the flank. Get our... Oh, I forgot my rangers. Treat my general away. Let's do some hammer and anvil strikes against the bows. Native American warriors were the ones that routed. The lances have been routed. The left flank is crumbling, so let's push up my troops in response. No, run away, you. If you need to, run back to the front line. This artillery fire a round shot. Aim at the native lance. There's a ha! Bowmen! Other cavalry, other cavalry, other cavalry, other cavalry, the very other. Pull these cavalrymen back behind the lines. Cutting the bows here, a new one. New men push up. Natives also, my light infantry also push up. No general's bodyguard. I don't mind my yeomanry going out there. I don't want... Okay, good. These bows have been destroyed. Pouring fire on the tribesmen. The yeomanry hit the native warriors in the rear. Garrison Bowman to attempt to make them route quickly. And it worked. So let's try shatter them. Deploy the pikes. Deploy my general against that bowman on the flank. Okay, no, hunker down. My cavalry charge down. Regiment of Horse and charge the bowmen here. So my cavalry run down to attempt to shatter the native troops. Cavalry smashed into that bow unit there. They, they're also broken. Okay, these men have to turn around to re engage. This unit that I left behind but was not shattered. Okay, these men have been chased away from the edge of the map, or to the edge of the map. Lances in the flank with two cavalry units, bring my general back across. Yeah, those garrison troops have routed. The 
Citizens Union of Hessian line is getting a bit damaged. Deploy my infantry to charge down the remaining troops. The cavalry, the lancers have been destroyed. Their general died, thankfully. Let's charge them up to go hit this garrison bow unit. They will likely not stand, or they're wavering. Broken. Good stuff. There we go. The natives have been forced from the field. Damn right, that's a heroic victory. So now the region is ours. We lost. We only lost 200 men to take it. So let's get rid of the Chief's Lodge, get rid of this farmland, get rid of this meeting hall. Spend whatever little money we can on repairing the troops. And Henry Dayton, you can do a similar activity in Niagara. Then in one fell swoop we have done and we've gone and dealt a huge blow to the Iroquois strength. Then we're in a good position to continue advancing south. Oh, this one's going to have a bit more scrapping in it. Let's just run. So let's have an infantry front, front line. Let's get some militia that can sprint down the flanks to attempt to engulf enemy positions. You've got one demi cannon unit who's going to sit up on this hill, plinking at long range three pike units who are going to advance and my general here there we go continue to push up I'm more than happy for it to turn into a scrap because I that's why I've got a bunch of pikemen for such an engagement. Well, the Irish Volunteer Infantry are in position. So open up. There we go, the first volley. A handful of men killed. The native warriors are charging in. Oh, but they've eaten a one volley close range. One volley. So you guys can probably push up like so, which means these militia can push up even more aggressively. If I can do it right. God, this bow unit right at the back of the map that's not even been engaged yet is wavering. To be honest, just. Push on. We have the melee advantage. See with bayonets, pikemen. That. Ah. Native troops. Even the troops that are. They're not bad at melee, they're just not good enough. My men are just better at melee combat. There we go, they've fallen. It's only this last unit of bowmen left, and they've melted. Good stuff. And we did kill their general before the battle was over. Now this town is ours, so we'll likely need a couple of turns of reorganising.
So we don't need the hunting grounds. We don't want... We can upgrade the fair trapper post. We don't want subsistence farming because they take... Uh, we can't upgrade them anymore and they're not super good. Also, in one turn, we fell upon two towns of the Iroquois Confederacy and we've annihilated them. So the idea is that once you've stabilised these territories, one army will march up to Fort Pon Ponchartrain to take them out. Another will drive south towards Kaintuck Territory. Obviously, can't, well, we've done all this building. The spying is still ongoing. Two captured regions. Sweet. Now I'm going to get rid of this school. We don't need it. And let's hit and turn. That was rather successful. It would appear the French are about to, uh, or they're going to maneuver their priest around. I don't mind as long as I can secure Quebec. They can continue to gather a force in Minsk, but if they do attempt to attack us, well, every turn they wait is a turn that our defences are, are uh, improved. Yeah, New Spain's going to help us out. Good guy, New Spain. Peace with the Iroquois? Nope. Sorry. Tokose, you're going down. We're going to conquer your territory, proselytize it, and bring it into the Empire. For the greater good. Yeah, that's my that's my plan for those two armies. One to go south and hit the Cherokee, one to finish off the Iroquois. Measuring tools has been done, which is great. Coke blast furnace? Maybe. We've got quite a significant military lead. So I'm okay with well, crop rotation is good. To improve pop growth and town growth. Coke Blast Furnace? Why not, I suppose? It's less universally helpful than the than the um, measuring tools is. I'm going to build a naval board, because that unlocks the next tier naval technologies. It's not necessarily what we need, but it's still useful. I'm not going to do any replenishment or so in su such and such over here yet. The money we got needs to go into rebuilding these territories. So how much do we need to replenish your troops? One half thousand. Okay, let's build some basic magistrates in there. And let's build this into a church school. Let's get some basic farms going as well. And we can get two basic oh, one basic roads. It's not enough to fully replenish the army, but it'll help. We've also recruited a unit of Rogers Rangers up here in Canada. Ready, and uh, this force actually may stay and on the defensive. Ready. Stay on the defensive and slowly build that men. They're in no rush. So we've got basic roads in Montreal as well. How's our income next turn? 7,100. That's pretty good. Let's see if we can begin trading with Portugal once more. No. Nope. Cozying up to the French. It's not great. So the only person that's likely to trade with us is Denmark, but they are friendly with the Russians and the Poles, so I doubt they're going to trade with us. A bunch of new ministers. I do not like that Secretary of War. Flat three stars. So let's go and kick him out. Okay, four star. I'll take a four star. Got pretty good opposition as well. Woodrow Montague. Um, but yes. Nothing we can do. Hit end turn. While all those... Oh, good. They're going back. So now we can safely convert uh, Quebec as well as Montreal. I'm particularly keen to convert the Iroquois territories because they're usually quite um, belligerent. Ooh, they're going to try and run around us and get to Konigsberg. I see their game. That's what I think they're going to do. Ooh, the Marathas have sent 
troops north, and we are at war with them. All right then, my squadron in the Caribbean is going to attempt to try and find them. Because I only saw one ship. The Barbaries are starting to launch probes against my lands. That is not a positive sign. Okay, so I don't think I've got any Americas. The Americas, Americas, Americas. Do I have... Ooh, I do have ships. Edward Russell. Don't take the sloop. They might have gone inland. Again, have they vanished? I set this fleet here because they can't. They can't go anywhere. Do you they're like hiding right at the top of the map? Hmm. But if I go here, they can't transit and hit up Canada. They'll go south, which is not. It's not better exactly, but it's. At least they'll be closer to my armies if that is where they decide to go. Yeah, so this chap can convert Quebec fairly, fairly well. Because the problem is, is that they've got quite a significant resistance to foreign occupation, and this that's only minus eight actually. Which, if we build the magistrate, that will certainly help. So let's build an iron mine try and get some actually we're not getting much money at all okay don't necessarily want to go for commercial port do I go for the government chambers it gives me some bonus to tax income then again we don't earn a huge amount of tax income anyway Average your trap post gets more resources to export. That's probably a good idea. Farms are quite good because they are a fairly cheap way to boost your income. Again, not by much, but then again, farms are cheap. So what do you expect? Okay, let's get some. Okay, let's get some road upgrades. Get some upgrades for Quebec. And we can also upgrade that farm as well. So I've got 500 gold. I can't really expand that army there. We could maybe. No, we can't recruit anything. I've just tried. But yeah, like if I took this army out of Cayuga, minus 17. They are livid. Religious un unrest is. It's only two. But if we convert the population, we start to get religious happiness on our side. Again, peasant farms across the board. Okay, let's hit end turn. So it'd be interesting to see where that Maratha fleet pops up. Because, I mean, it can't get to Canada or to my northern regions unless it's already got there. Okay, no, they're going to raid Vilnius. Okay, good. Because I did forget to uh, build any troops in Konigsberg if they did decide to go that way. Trouble is, trouble is we need to really spend money on growing our economy. We're spending a lot of money on... Well, we're spending a lot of money sustaining our troops in the field. Okay, let's pick up a unit of line infantry. Enemy raid here. You're more than welcome. But we've got our fortifications now, so they're really going to have to go... They're going to have to put a lot of effort in to kick us out of Vilnius. Lots of good buildings being built. Uh, Newport and New France. 
magistrates in our American territories. We finally got we've got our church school up and running. You can you are replenishing fully, as are the troops at Niagara. I'm gonna get a magistrate to try and oh, I don't actually get any more repression going up to a governor's residence. Oh well, that's what we've got to do. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. Because again, they they will not, they will not like us. They do not like us one bit. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the next episode of Great Britain. Cheers, everyone.